Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 35 and we will be uh, uh, observing various uh, examples of timer programming. So let's start our lecture. Okay, so the task that we have to do is generate a square wave at RC0 of PIC 18 F452 microcontroller with time period of six milliseconds. That means uh, this is a microcontroller, pick 18 f microcontroller and at pin RC0, right? So it's a zero bit of port C and we have to generate a square wave. A square wave means a duty cycle should be what? Duty cycle should be uh, 50% and uh, the complete time period of uh, a single cycle should be equal to six milliseconds. So if six milliseconds is going to be total time period, so half time would be dedicated for on time and half time dedicated for off time. So that means for three milliseconds, we will simply turn on this RC0 and for three milliseconds, we will simply turn off this RC0. So this is how you actually produce a square wave uh, uh, using uh, pic 18 f microcontroller. But with this example, since we are doing this example using timers, so this three milliseconds we will generate using the timer zero of pic 18 f452. And if you remember the last lecture, in last lecture we actually uh, do this, uh, uh, we consider this required milli, uh, required delay of three milliseconds, and we actually produced. Uh, uh, timer zero and timer zero L and timer zero H values, right? So for three milliseconds, we generated certain value and we will be using the same value. So I won't be calculating it again because I have already calculated it in the last lecture and I will use those values in this program. So let me write the code so that I can explain you. Okay, now I have written code for you uh, for this specific application. So let's uh, deal with the code line by line so very first line is bit clear file press c comma rc0 that means we are just defining this pin of port c as output pin because we have to generate an output signal or output square wave right uh, then we are basically performing the basic steps if you remember the last lecture or the previous lectures in which we explained the steps of programming for timer zero so the very first step is to con to load the value of timer zero control register, right? So we have loaded a value of timer zero control. So if you look at the very starting bit is basically timer zero on and off. So it's initially it is on, then we are using uh, 16 bit or eight bit mode. So we are using zero here. So we will be using 16 bit uh, timer. Why? Because you, if you remember, we calculated for three millisecond delay, uh, the timer zero register or timer zero value should be initial value should be F448. And this is basically a 16 bit number. So for this application, we will be using a 16 bit mode. So we have actually put zero in the second num second bit. Then the third bit is uh, uh, clock source. So we are using internal source. Remember, uh, we performed this calculation using the internal source of uh, or the crystal oscillator of uh, which is attached to pick 18 f452 we are not providing any separate source for it so we are using internal source option so it, it will be also zero then we are using a positive h so we can actually use any of them uh, so it, it won't affect uh, right now so we can we are using positive edge right then we are not using any prescaler assignment so we have just disabled it and we're putting one here and rest of three bits are right now don't care or we don't uh, uh, consider these values so these three with these three values we actually use zero so now this is the value of timer zero control register and we will put it into timer zero control this is how this is the very first step the next step if you remember we have to load the values of timer zero h and timer zero l so these are the values similar these are these are the same values that we have evaluated so F4 is loaded in timer 0H and 4 at is loaded in timer 0H and you can observe it in this uh, step, right? Uh, one thing if you uh, note it down, timer 0H is loaded first and then timer 0L is loaded. And I have ex already explained the reason. We have to actually uh, load the first uh, timer 0H and then we will load timer 0L. The next task is to clear the check flag or which we call uh, timer zero interrupt flag, which is present inside the interrupt control register. So this is our third step and we have actually 
used it then we come to the a stage where we can actually start our timer and that's how we start our timer we have already learned this step so we are just bit set off bit set file timer zero control comma timer zero on bit so we are just putting one here in this specific bit so this timer will be started and once timer will be started it will be start counting from this value f448 then f next value would be f449 then f44 a and it will actually uh, go up to the uh, four times f so when it will arrive to four times f and then it will perform rollover point and at which this timer zero if flag which we have cleared it it will become one or it will be resetted right so basically we have to wait to that point and at this stage we have we will perform a check bit test file skip if set interrupt control comma timer zero if we are continuously monitoring it and unless it becomes one we are continuously keeping our microcontroller or program counter at this is single instruction. So once that rollover occurs and this value becomes uh, exceeds the maximum value, which is four times F. So this timer zero IF will become equal to one and we will uh, escape out of this loop. And what we are performing, we, have, we will turn off our timer because timer has already expired for three milliseconds. That means three millisecond delay is already already produced. So we will turn off the timer. How you will turn off? You will simply use this instruction uh, bit clear file timer zero control comma timer zero on so we will be putting zero again and now since three milliseconds have been produced so remember the original task of this code is to produce a square wave that means we have produced three millisecond high signal so or low signal right so three millisecond is already passed and now we have to switch it state to low or if it is low to high. So what we are doing, we are actually toggling that specific bit. So if RC0 was zero, it will become high. And if it, it was one, it will become low. So the square wave will produce. And now, then we will repeat this complete procedure to produce this square wave for uh, indefinite time interval, right? So that's how uh, we will achieve this uh, square wave using this timer zero programming. Okay, that's it from this lecture. Today we discuss an example including timer zero programming uh, if you have any confusion you can post them in con comment section uh, thank you so much for listening